Shalom and shalom and welcome to another funky Bible daily devotional. Today's sermon is titled, Courageous Faith in the Face of Oppression. Scriptural passage is 1st uh, Maccabees uh, chapter 2, 1 to 70 in the Brenton Septuagint translation. Dear brothers and sisters, today we gather to reflect on the courageous faith demonstrated by Matthias and his sons in the midst of oppressive times. Their unwavering commitment to God's law serves as an inspiring example for us as we navigate the challenges of living out our faith in a hostile world. So the context here, during a period of intense persecution under the uh, reign of King Antiochus Epiphanes, Matthias, a priest from Modin, and his sons witnessed the desecration of the holy city and the oppression of their people. Faced with the choice of compromise or resistance, they chose to stand firm in their faith regardless of the consequences. The key points here, number one, recognizing the blasphemies. Matthias was deeply troubled by the blasphemies committed against God's law and the desecration of the sanctuary. He mourned the state of his people and the holy city, lamenting the loss of their freedom and the prof uh, profanation of their sacred rites. Number two, refusing compromise. When King Antiochus' officers came to enforce the king's commandments, urging Matthias to comply like the other nations, he adamantly refused. Despite the allure of wealth and honor, he remained steadfast in his commitments to God's law, declaring, We will not hearken to the king's words to go from our religion. Number three, taking action. Matthias' zeal for God's law moved him to action. When a fellow Jew yielded to the pressure to sacrifice on the altar, Matthias, consumed with righteous anger, struck him down and destroyed the altar. He and his sons then fled to the mountains, rallying others who were zealous for the law to join them in the resistance. Number four, holding up the covenant. Matthias reminded his sons of the faithfulness of their forefathers and exhorting exhorted them to be zealous for the law, even unto death. He encouraged them to uh, emulate the examples of the faithful individuals throughout the history who trusted in God and received honor and blessing. Application number one, steadfastness in faith. Like Matthias and his sons, we are called to stand firm in our faith, refusing to compromise with the world's values or succumb to pressure to conform. Let us hold fast to God's truth and uphold his commandments, even in the face of oppression. And number two is courageous witness. In a culture that opposes biblical principles and seeks to silence the voice of faith, may we boldly bear witness to the gospel, resisting ungodly influences. Let us speak out against injustice and oppression, trusting in God's strength to sustain us. It's kind of reminding me of, uh, I've been listening to some talks of, of, of Holocaust, um, oh, Hidden Brain, I love Hidden Brain podcast. Anyways, they did the whole um, uh, zapping test. Remember, they had an actor in another room. It's a pretty famous test, and they kept zapping until they theoretically dead, right, to see if they could um, compromise people. But it made me think about, you know, a lot of people said, how could people ever do the Holocaust, and could it happen again? Well, we've been seeing that in the protests um, against Israel and the violence between uh, pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli uh, um, groups. Courageous witness, <clears throat> right? Uh, number three, zeal for God's house. Like Matthias, let us become zealous for the purity of God's house and the sanctity of his worship. May we never tolerate the desecration of sacred things, but strive to honor God in all that we do. Number four, legacy of faith. As parents and leaders, let us pass on the legacy of faith to the next generation, teaching them to love and obey God's word. May we inspire them to stand firm in their convictions and to trust in God's faithfulness, regardless of the challenges they may face. In conclusion, as we reflect on the courageous faith of Matthias and his sons, may we be inspired to follow their examples and remain steadfast in our commitment to God. Let us take courage in knowing that God is with us, empowering us to overcome every obstacle and fulfill his purposes in our generation. In the name of Yeshua, HaMashiach, amen. Shalom and shalom until next time. May God keep you and bless you. Bye-bye for now.